When it comes to 3D printing props, one thing that is not commonly discussed is how a model is chopped up. And that can make all the difference in making the print so much easier to assemble. I'm Yasu, and this is going to be a Fusion 360 tutorial on how to chop up your 3D models into something that's very printable. When you're splitting up a 3D model, you have a couple of objectives in mind. First, you obviously want the parts to fit on your print bed. And of course, you want to minimize the amount of support material you use in your prints. It would be a pleasant bonus if the parts were arranged in such a way that it's easy to assemble. And lastly, you want your parts to have holes or areas where you could insert a dowel or some sort of reinforcer that would make your glue joints much stronger. So for our first example, I'm going to use this Fortnite SMG that I modeled a couple weeks back. For the most part, it's pretty straightforward to chop up. So what we're going to do first is split up the body of the gun from the barrel. So you start off with a standard plane cut, either on the vertical or horizontal axes. In this case, as you can see, I cut it uh, vertically so as to easily connect the body to the barrel. So once you have your body split, you're going to want to create some registration dowel holes. This allows you to align your parts easily and gives it a little more strength when you have them joined together. My personal preference is to make two 15 to 25 millimeter dowel holes. So what you'll do is you'll create a sketch, uh, make a circle, uh, then extrude that circle in anywhere from 25 to 50 millimeters, depending on the depth of your part. Once you've created the sketch, your next step is to create a new body that is symmetrical. That is, it's going 25 to 50 millimeters in both directions. Congratulations, you've made your connection dowel. The next step is to combine your dowel to the body using the combine tool. Now, the key thing here is you don't want to just do a cut. You'll want to go into the configuration area and select Keep Tools. That will allow you to cut the object while keeping the dowel. Once you've cut the dowel hole into the one body, you'll want to repeat the process for the other body you want to connect to. At this point, each body should have a dowel hole that it can slot into. Alright, so your next step is you need to actually resize the dowel because most printers don't have absolutely perfect tolerances, but there's a little bit of error where they print a slightly larger or smaller dimension. Usually in my experience it's larger. So what you need to do is you need to use the offset, that is hotkey Q, to decrease the diameter of the dowel by about 0.20 to 0.40 millimeters. This will be a judgment call for you depending on the accuracy of your printer. A quick word on printing dowels. My personal preference, and I've had no issues doing this, is printing vertically along the z-axis. However, if you're having some issues where the dowels are breaking and snapping in two, I highly recommend printing them vertically with a slight cut or flat spot so that the model can stick to the bed surface. And that is a basic approach on how I split up a good portion of my own models. If you found this tutorial interesting, don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button and feel free to comment if you'd like to see more splitting tutorials for armor or blades or some other 3D model type. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.